Hello! Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Lauren Eloise. It's a pleasure to have you back to another Tea and Talk video. Big welcome if you're new. If you've been around for a long time, thank you so much. I hope you're enjoying this little series. I hope you guys have been well. I have missed filming. Some of you know that I have been on a holiday. If you're on my Instagram, you know exactly what's been going on. But we'll get to that later in this video. You guys clicked on this video because you want to hear about my October. And thank you so much for actually continuing to watch this series. That makes me so happy that you're totally like interested in how my life is going. But this goes two ways. Let me know how your life is going down in the comments below. October, tell me something good that happened. We're gonna start off October on a weird level. I was on the train on the way to work. I was sitting opposite someone, a guy who was maybe around my age. He obviously looked like an art student and he started sketching and I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. You're an art student, go ahead. <laughs> but then I thought he kept looking at, up at me a little bit and then I realized, you know what? He's a hundred percent sketching me. This is weird, but it's also really cool. He didn't know that I knew, but I just went with it. And then at the end of the train ride, he turned the photo the drawing out of his little notebook. He folded it up and left it on the seat. And I was like, man, I should pick that up. But I didn't. And I got off the train to get onto the next train. And then I was like, no, Lauren, you, you need to pick that up. That was clearly a drawing of you. He left it there for you. Go and pick it up. So I ran back and I got on the train. I picked it up and then I got off again. <laughs> This is really weird. I know. I know some of you guys, I think on Discord, were saying like, that would be such a good way to pick someone up. Yeah, and then it started to get tough. My parents were away. I think I was feeling a bit low again. Actually, I felt a lot low. I was pretty upset. I felt like no one really cared about me. Uh, but then my sister, our two friends, Emily and Jade, came to the rescue. <laughs> we went and saw scary stories scary stories to tell in the dark is that the title of the movie why is it so long it was an all right movie it started off very good but then it got unrealistic towards the end so it was kind of just funny before we got into the movies we found a trolley in like the shopping center i was pushing my sister in it and then the security guard comes up and he's like you gotta get out like you can't do that and he started following us all the way to Woolworths, which was really weird just a bit uncomfortable but i know we were acting 12 by pushing each other in a trolley it's fine <laughs> That's probably the last time I'm ever gonna do that anyway. Something else happened too when we went and saw this movie. We were shuffling our feet on the ground inside the bathroom because it was making like squeaking noises. So again, we were acting 12. Yeah, I am 23. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> just because it was funny. Absolutely no one was around on this whole top floor of the building plus in at that bathroom as well. But somehow when we walked out, there were two, I'm going to say 16 year old emo looking people sitting down next to like some arcade machines. And then they yelled at us like, stop being stupid little see you next Tuesdays. And we were just like, what the f***? I don't care. <laughs> Not sure why I noted this down, but I cleaned and I watched Shane Dawes. <laughs> I think that's because I spent a lot of time this month watching the Shane and Jeffrey collab. If you guys watched that, let me know what you thought. Did you get anything? Did you buy anything? Because I loved watching it. I also went and saw my friends and we had breakfast together. That was really cute. My friend bought her, it's her brother's little puppy. So I got to hold her and uh, cry about how cute and little and baby the dog is. But the dog is so well behaved. So good parenting. I've also been swimming again. This is because <laughs> You'll find out towards the end of this video, but I needed to get my lung function up really high You guys know who maybe if you want to go back and watch my January or February tea I literally could not breathe. Anyway, this whole year has been a journey on my lungs. <laughs> swimming again was great I got up to doing 1.2 K's. Don't know if that means anything to you, but it feels like heaps to me I also went on another date uh, with the same person as last time. We went to dinner and drinks. Wait, no we went to drinks and then for dinner there was like a Asian food festival kind of thing in Sydney so we had like bits and pieces from different little market stalls which was pretty cute and then we ran to get my train which we missed but that's okay <laughs> I had to call up mum and be like hey mum can you please come and get me I'm really sorry so the whole point of swimming was because I have been planning for the past three months to surprise my sister with a plane ticket to the Great Barrier Reef. Wow, okay, where do I begin with this? Because this was like literally a lot of my October was spent 
just planning the little things that I still had left to do and also being on holidays. I'm gonna put a map here, I think, to show you like where Sydney is and then where Cairns is. Cairns is where the Great Barrier Reef is. So yeah, I surprised her with a plane ticket and we went on holidays, <laughs> which I'm gonna upload a video if I have not already. Two videos, one surprising her and two a vlog of our whole trip. Depends when this video gets uploaded. I'm not stressing, but if you click the little bell, you will see whenever it's up. Because I'm gonna show you guys in my uh, vlog anyway, I just thought I'll tell you some of the highlights. One, we saw amazing waterfalls. I was so tired after so much physical activity, but that was awesome. Two, we went on a party bus in Cairns. This won't be included in the vlog, but someone pissed on the floor and it got all over my sister and I's legs and we were so angry about it. Yeah, it was, it was f***ing weird. Okay, and we were really angry and we called the security guard. <laughs> Yeah, weird, okay. Anyway, three, obviously we went snorkeling, which was insane. We got to see all the coral, the reef. I've been to the reef once before, but this was my sister's first time. And also we got to scuba dive. So this is why I had been working so hard on my lungs. That's because you're not allowed to, like it's illegal to go scuba diving with asthma. Pretty much any medical condition, you can't go scuba diving. So I knew that I really wanted to and I've done it before so I worked really hard to make sure my lungs were in perfect condition so that I could lie on the medical form. I know I come across as a goody two-shoes and I don't do naughty things but I lied on the medical form. And you know what? I didn't die. <laughs> no, but seriously, we did a 24 minute dive and after doing that, my lungs were very, very tired, which I thought would happen anyway. Didn't have any asthma attacks or anything like that. So I'm so glad I did it. Oh yeah, we also got to see the Daintree Rainforest. This is the only place in the world where two natural world heritage sites meet. So you've got the rainforest that kind of like, here's a photo anyway. <laughs> meet the coral reef and we saw a cassowary which is like a dinosaur bird Oof, this tea is making me really sweaty towards the end of october now after our massive trip which was awesome but can't wait to show you the vlog because our flight got delayed and it was just it was stressful but yeah after that we had Oktoberfest here in sydney we got all dressed up i wore like this cute little shorts with a like a off the shoulder top it was quite still feminine but it was also shorts and not a dress which made me feel amazing i loved that outfit Whilst at Oktoberfest, I had a stage and then some guys like started running into each other like in a mosh pit, but then it turned into a massive mosh pit where guys, heaps of guys were just running at each other like dickheads, but it was funny. And also it was my first time trying a silent disco. Really weird, but really cool. There was like three channels you could change to, so you could change to three different DJs at any point. I also got my teeth reviewed by my orthodontist. This means that they're going on track and they're gonna be finished December 11. They're so close, they're so f***ing close. I also started umpiring netball again. I took a whole year and more off. I did play, but I didn't umpire, like I didn't ref because I couldn't breathe <laughs> and it was best for me not to do that much physical activity. Yeah, I started doing a nighttime competition so it's more relaxed than normal netball and I did fine and I didn't even get wheezy. That's just amazing for me. Like I didn't even expect that that would happen, but it did. So I'm really so happy. And to finish the month, it was Halloween. What did you dress up as if you did? Tell me, I wanna know. I dressed up as a vampire on two occasions. My sister had a party, which we'll talk about in November tea, but for work, I dressed up as a vampire and I encouraged everyone at work to dress up and turns out it was like me and two others, but that's okay. <laughs> I felt awesome dressed up anyway. I'm a big kid at heart. I think you have realized that. But yeah, that is pretty much October done and dusted. Oh, that scared me. Okay, my whole setup is falling apart. But it's okay, we're at the end of the video now. If you guys like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Also, please turn on the notification bell. I'm never gonna spam you with shitty stuff. This is the best way to get notified when my videos come up. That would be amazing if you could do that. And subscribe if you guys haven't already. Come join the family. We're at 13,000, which is... <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hell yeah, this is exactly what I was aiming for. You guys seem to have really enjoyed my rat meme review. You definitely need to go and watch it if you haven't yet.